Hello students, let us continue our discussion on current electricity. Uh, in the last session we discussed about the cell, right. Uh, regarding the cell, the important factors that we discussed are one is EMF of the cell and the other is internal resistance of the cell. And we got the clarity about the difference between EMF and the terminal potential difference, isn't it? When the circuit is open, then the voltage, then the potential difference is called EMF. When the circuit is closed, which means when the current is flowing, then we call the potential difference across the terminals of the battery as a terminal potential difference. Okay, so when the circuit is closed it is TPD, when the circuit is open it is EMF, isn't it? Yeah, that is about the difference between EMF and TPD and we also got the idea about the, uh, the connection between current in the circuit, EMF of the cell, internal resistance of the cell and the potential difference or the uh, voltage across the cell, isn't it? And the expression that we obtained was as follows, which is uh, total EMF E is equal to the actual potential difference when there is certain current flowing plus current in the circuit. Current in the circuit means current inside the cell, outside the cell. It is always same, okay. You just go through the previous session if you have forgotten or uh, you can refresh it and then you can come back okay. So the expression is E is equal to V plus I R where this R is the internal resistance of the cell and this V is the actual potential difference when the circuit is closed which means when the circuit when there is flow of current through the circuit. E is the EMF of the cell okay it is somewhat like the efficient or uh, the, the maximum ability of the cell which is E okay. Now V becomes equal to E minus I R using the very same expression today we are going to derive expression for two cells connected in series and two cells connected in parallel okay. Basically the discussion is about combination of cells okay. combination of cells okay. So when you have a single cell it will have its own EMF and its own uh, internal resistance these are the basic characteristic of that cell. Now if you connect uh, two cells in series as such okay, as shown in the diagram. If I connect two cells one and the other in series right the connection is in series now and now uh, let us assume that the circuit is closed with an external resistance about which we do not need to worry we need to worry about the effective EMF okay what are the basic characteristic of a cell one is the EMF of the cells and the other is internal resistance of the cell. So let us assume this cell here has the EMF E1 and the internal resistance R1 and here the second cell which is in series with this cell let us assume that this has the internal uh, this has the EMF of E2 and internal resistance R2. Now uh, as you know uh, whenever we considered combination of electrical devices electrical uh, uh, like uh, resistors and capacitors there we made use of effective device isn't it we combined two resistors and we took an effective resistor which gives the same effect as of the combination and we call that as effective resistor isn't it. And here in the same way I am going to consider an effective cell okay an effective cell 
with emf e and internal resistance simply r okay in some references they will also give you this e as e eq okay e equivalent and r equivalent okay that is also fine but uh, you even if you simply keep it e and r that's also fine okay it's all about terminology you don't need to worry or i prefer you keep this as e s r s because the cells are now connected in series okay and again an external resistance in some references in the diagram this external resistance is not mentioned okay because this external resistance does not play any role in the derivation part of it but uh, i think the circuit has to be complete for the flow of current i have considered this external resistance okay this has no part in the derivation but again it is uh, the it is considered just because we need to complete the circuit okay normally in the references the diagram will be of this much only this much and this much okay clear with this two cells connected in series first with emf e1 second with emf e2 first with the internal resistance r1 for second with the internal resistance r2 okay so now these two cells connected in series with the effective resistor effective emf es and inter effective internal resistance rs okay right so now uh, let when the current is flowing through the circuit okay so since this is the positive terminal this will be the direction of current right so this is how the current flows in the circuit okay you all know that when the uh devices electrical devices are connected in series since this is a series circuit nowhere we can see the splitting of the circuit the current will be constant throughout the circuit okay you take any part of the circuit here 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 even inside the cell here 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 everywhere the current will be some value i okay and the same current will be maintained in the effective cell okay so this is about the current i flowing through the circuit which is same as the current which flows even through the effective cell okay right so now the term which is constant for both the combination and effective is constant uh, is the current right is the current same current in both the circuits the effective and the combination let v1 be the tpd or voltage we can call across the first cell okay because you know that when you have devices electrical devices in series the potential difference varies right from here to here you have certain different potential difference and from here to here you have certain other potential difference which i can call v2 okay in some references what they do is they put the points a b c they take the potential at point a va potential at point b vb potential at point c vc right that is how they take then they take the potential difference between this point and this point which is vb minus va or va minus vb okay similarly they, they take the potential difference between these two points which is vb minus vc right and uh, the same terms va minus vb the potential difference itself is the voltage across the terminals of the battery or i can say the terminal potential difference across the terminals of the battery which i can call as v1 volts okay that potential difference okay it is not it is not some potential of certain point it is a potential difference between these two points similarly v2 is the potential difference between the uh, across the terminals of the battery of the second cell okay and let me call v yes or simply v is also fine okay let v be the potential difference across the effective cell okay so now uh by comparing the circuits i can easily say that v 
इज इक्वल टू वी वन प्लस वी टू राइट आई कैन से दैट बिकॉज द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस दिस एंड दिस विल इज द सम ऑफ दिस टू पोटेंशियल डिफरेंसेस इज द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू पॉइंट्स विच इज वी ओके the same thing that we did with the combination of resistors okay the same way so this is the expression which connects these two circuits now okay the effective one and this now what is this v1 v2 and v equal to since this is a cell with emf e1 r1 and i is the current flowing through the cell v1 is the tpd of the cell so i can write v1 is equal to E one minus I R one, right? For an individual cell, for a single cell, this is the expression which connects TPD and EMF of the cell. And similarly, I can also write V two is equal to E two minus I R two because current flowing through both the cells is same. I can keep I same. The rest I can write this. as follows so now i have the expression for v1 and v2 similarly writing the expression for v okay the resultant or the effective cells tpd i can write v is equal to e minus i r right or the, the emf is taken as is now and internal resistance is taken as rs i can keep it as follows so now i have expressions for v1 v2 and v expressed in terms of emf of the cells and the internal resistance of the cells okay now let me substitute the uh, values of e or the expressions of v into this equation and hence i have uh, e s yes, minus i r s is equal to v1 is v uh, v1 is i1 minus i r1 plus v2 is uh, e2 minus i r2 okay so now let me uh, open up the bracket and put the similar terms on one side okay so this will be e1 minus i r1 plus e2 minus i r2 so es minus i r s is equal to look at this e1 plus e2 i can keep them on one side Minus of uh, i, I can take as a common factor, and what remains inside is minus is already taken outside, so it is R one plus R two, right? So after taking i as a common factor, I'll be left with R one plus R two inside the bracket. So this is the expression which is helpful for us in getting the. effective emf of combination effective emf of series combination of cells and effective internal resistance of series combination of cells now you see here when you compare these two expressions okay in some references they write this this expression on this expression in a in a different uh, uh, as two different expressions and then they write comparing this and this expression but i have taken it in a single expression this is a valid derivation okay you can either uh, stick to the derivation in the reference or you can also follow this okay this is easier the difference is here v1 is the uh, tpd across first cell okay directly we are going for tpd here okay and v2 is the tpd across second cell okay that's it there's no difference 
uh, there they mention V A V B V C. They take the difference. I have taken the difference directly as V one and V two. Okay, so that's it. So now you have E one plus E two in place of E S, right? I as it is. Okay, here we are not going to get the uh, solution for E S. after going for uh, going through this mathematically we are not going to get the uh, do the actual mathematical process instead we are going to compare the the terms the corresponding terms in lhs and rhs and hence comparing the corresponding terms in lhs and rhs i can write in place of es we have e1 plus e2 okay and in place of rs we have r1 plus r2 so these are the expressions which are uh, uh, which will give you the which will give you the idea about the effective emf of series combination of cells and effective resistance of series combination of cells okay so this is about the derivation part and the derivation is done okay and one thing that you should be careful is uh, along with the emf you must also write the expression for internal resistance okay both are the results of the derivation this derivation has two results one is for emf the effective emf and the other is for effective internal resistance both of them should be written as the final result okay that's it now this is the end of the derivation uh, when we go for the uh, further extension or special cases we find few results as follows okay the ex the extra or the special cases are as follows very simple so, uh, see here we have two cells in series right uh yeah before going to n cells in series i just want you make uh, make you clear with the uh, orientation of the cells okay see if both the cells are uh, uh, connected in such a way that both of them supports the current in the circuit like positive to the left and negative to the right both of them are connected like so so then Uh, the expression is this one e1 plus e2 okay this is the standard derivation okay now one of the special case that we see is what if we have a cell a combination of cell connected like this the first one connected uh, of uh, with the uh, connected is with the emf e1 and the second connected is with the emf e2 then the 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 effective resistance the effective emf in this case is not e1 plus e2 instead the effective emf in this case when the cells are connected oppositely okay so then we say es is e1 minus e2 okay it can also be e2 minus e1 that depends the one which dominates will be appearing here and don't need to worry the direction of current will manage the the sign part a okay, positive or negative it's just the thing that you should keep in mind is it's the difference of emf that we should consider when the cells are connected in opposite way like this okay when they are connected in regular way like this okay uh, positive terminal to one side and the negative terminal to the other side like this then you you can easily take the sum of emf e1 plus e2 when they are connected in opposite way you must consider that as es is equal to e1 minus e2 okay okay that is one special case that we have but even though they are connected in opposite way the resistance won't be decreasing okay resistance will stay positive itself okay so even in this case rs the effective internal resistance is r1 plus r2 itself okay keep that in mind because a current uh, uh, whenever it goes through a cell it experiences resistance whether it is uh this whether the cell is connected this way or this way that doesn't matter okay it's all about whether it is experiencing resistance or not yes 
when it goes through one of the cell it experiences resistance when it goes through the other cell even then it experiences resistance okay and now what will be the direction of current when when it comes to this particular situation when in this particular situation where if if okay there are two possibilities e2 can be greater than e1 and e1 can be greater than e2 right if e2 is greater than e1 okay if e2 is greater than e1 this is the dominant cell then this dominates the circuit which means the flow of current will be in this direction like this okay so uh, the circuit will have the current flowing through like this. if e1 is greater than e2 then the current circuit will have the current flowing in the opposite direction like this okay clear with that so this is about when you have one of the cell in a opposite way okay right now uh, moving ahead this is for the combination of two cells if you have uh, n cells connected in series okay this is one of the special case the other special case is for n cells in series okay for n cells in series uh, we have we, we, we shall extend the same expression this expression es is equal to e1 plus e2 no for n cell series in, in series it is going to be es is equal to e1 plus e2 plus e3 plus so on plus en okay so this is the expression for n cells connected in series the effective emf of n cells connected in series if any one of the cell is connected in an op in an opposite way then that cell that cells emf should be taken as negative okay that's it that will give you the effective emf of the combination of n cells and whenever you have cells emf is not the only result that you should keep in mind okay resistance is also the uh, the end result of the combination so rs is r1 plus r2 plus so on plus rn the combination of see series combination of cells will have the internal resistance rs the effective internal resistance rs given by r1 plus r2 plus so on plus rn which is the sum of internal resistances of individual cells clear with this so yeah even uh, when you have a single cell in an opposite way that will have negative emf that we should take the the emf of that cell should be taken as negative but the res internal resistance will stay positive okay you should you must add whether the cell is supporting the current or opposing the current in the circuit you must add the internal resistance okay clear with these things okay so this is about series combination of cells